It's not the value of the art in this place, it's the value of the story and the fact that all this art throughout the entire first floor level of this property is done by artists who either have taught at UCLA or got their MFA at UCLA. But it's wonderful to see the profound impact this campus has made on the, on the world of art. I've always said that one of the great things about UCLA is this aspiration it has always had to be first class in every way and also very much on the art level. Conference centers are about creativity. You bring people together for magic where, you know, one plus one is six, where you have people interact with one another. And art is inspirational and it's creative. And I think it helps set sort of the creative juices going and people be able to walk around and see great art. So I think it's a perfect complement to a conference center. LA is so pretty at night, actually. You know, it's part of the school that's all about space and light and connects very well with the others in this hallway, I think, too. Right. So over many years, I took thousands of images and then put them together as an homage to Rothko, which is what the project is called, homage to Rothko. It's all about light and shadow and color, but more than that, it's about a feeling. Those are all art history slides that the professors use to teach their classes of art history. So there, it's a melange of thousands and thousands of slides covering all types of uh, genres of art. In my mind's eye, I always pictured having a daguerreotype or an ambrotype of Royce Hall to enlarge and place on glass or acrylic behind the front desk. We looked high and low, we could not find an image that was clear enough, crisp enough, uh, that we could blow up to this uh, scale. And we really had to do it from scratch. So the Conference Center Art is a wonderful addition to the art throughout campus. And it helps demonstrate the quality of, of the of talent that resides on this campus. The Alaskan Conference Center is part of the art path at UCLA now, along with the Sculpture Garden, the Fowler Museum and the Hammer Museum. You know, I think all the works of art that uh, we've been fortunate enough to uh, gather for this conference facility wanted to be here. It's I been agree. so serendipitous, yeah. it's, mm -hmm. and each Absolutely. seems to be in the place mm -hmm. it wanted to be. I agree. There's something very magical about this, and people might think that sounds crazy, but it, I've seen it over and over again in my life.